Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will see correlation using graphical method. Okay. So perform cross correlation of the sequences given as x of n is equal to 1 comma 1 comma 2 comma 2 and y of n is given as 1 comma 0 0.5 comma 1. Okay. So basically these two sequences are given and you have to calculate the correlation. Which kind of correlation? Cross correlation. We already know the formula that cross correlation sequence Rxy of m is defined as summation of x of n into y of n minus m. Right? Where the limit of n ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity. So here x of n is what unsifted and this is what a sifted version of y of n. So this is basically a formula, a mathematical expression for cross correlation. So let's move further and try to understand how we can achieve this using graphical method. So basically if you see x of n, so x of n starts from what? 0 right n is equal to 0 and have how many samples 1 2 3 4 4 samples so from here you can say that n1 is equal to 0 and and capital n1 is equal to what 4 clear now if you look at y of n it is also starting from n is equal to 0 and has 1 2 3 samples so from here you can say that n2 is equal to what 0 and capital N2 is equal to what basically 3. This much is clear to you? Fine. Let's go next and understand more. So now Rxy of m will have how many samples? n1 plus n2 minus 1. So it will be equal to what 4 plus 3 minus 1 which is nothing but equal to what 6 so it will contain 6 samples and the starting point and end point so the initial value of m which we are going to represent as what mi this will be equal to what n1 minus you know n2 plus capital n2 minus 1 so solve this so you will get basically what here so n1 is what 0 0 plus n2 is what 3 minus 1 so this will be equal to what minus 2 so the initial value of m is what minus 2 remember because it is required right and the final value of m which is mf so this will be equal to what? What is the formula for this? Mi plus N1 plus N2 minus 2. So this will be basically equal to minus 2 plus what? 4 plus 3 minus 2. So this will be equal to 3. So the initial value of M is what? Minus 2 and the final value of M is what? 3. Why it is required? Because we will use this value of m here in this formula. right? Now let us go and understand how we can achieve this graphically. So first step. In first step what you have to do boss? Graph the input sequences x of n and y of n. Like this is a plot for x of n versus n. Okay, At n is equal to 0 value is 1 here value is 1, 2, 2, right? Similarly, plot for y of n versus n. So, this is what? A graph for y of n. Clear? At n is equal to 0, value is 1. At n is equal to 1, value is 0 0.5. At n is equal to 2, value is 1. So, hope this is clear to you. This plot is completed? Fine. Let's go next and start computing the values for rxy of m so let's go for the next case so step two so once that is done now step two so in step two see shift y of n left on the graph to have only 
one non-zero sample when multiplied with what x of n and then multiply x of n and the shifted y of n to get a product sequence at last sum the samples of the product sequence to obtain the first sample of the output sequence so when you will get the first sample of the output sequence when the value of m is minus 2 right i hope you are aware about this just now we have calculated the initial value of m which is minus 2 so in the formula so we are at what position so when m is equal to minus 2 so this formula will become what rxy of minus 2 this will be equal to what summation of x of n into y of n minus minus 2 okay where the limit of n ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity so these two terms are here okay and multiplication of this two we are going to represent it as v minus 2 of n and then we have to do a sum up that will be the value of rxy of minus 2 that is what we have to do we we already did this approach many times clear so let's see the plot of x of n we already know this is the plot for x of n and the plot for y of n minus of minus 2 means what boss y of n plus 2 am i right and you already know the plot for y of n so now what you have to do for this plot y of n plus 2 that is what what we did we did a shift of two units right to the left correct to achieve this n plus 2 now this is the plot for y of n plus 2 i hope you are aware about the time advancement and time delay then only you can plot this so we already know y of n we shifted two units to the left okay so that is what y of n plus 2 now we know this is y of n plus 2 and this is what x of n clear so if you know this so simply multiply what is the common instance here so common instance i can see is this is also defined as at n is equal to 0 and this is also defined at n is equal to 0 right i don't see another common instant so multiply this 1 into 1 so in the final plot it will be defined only at n is equal to 0 and the value is what 1 so now sum up this for rest of the instances the value is what 0 so sum up it will give you what 1 so rxy of minus 2 will be what 1 boss it is clear now we have to do for m is equal to minus 1 okay minus 2 done a minus 1 right but you already know the plot of y of n plus 2 it will be easy for you now so basically shift the y of n from the previous step one position to the right then multiply the shifted sequence with x of n to get a product sequence then sum up the samples of the product sequence to obtain the second sample of the output sequence which is at what when in m is equal to minus 1 so when m is equal to minus 1 this will be the formula so you should know x of n plot we already know okay and the plot for y of n plus 1 okay and the plot for m plus w, n plus 1 so see boss simple thing let me tell you this is y of n plus 2 you want a plot for n plus 1 simply move this one unit to the right your work is done so that is what we are going to do see see here in this particular example or i can say in this particular case so this is a plot for y of n plus 1 and this is a plot for x of n that we already know now see the common points so n is equal to 0 this is also defined this is also defined at n is equal to 1 this is also defined this is also defined right so these are the common points so multiply it so 1 into 0 0.5 so at n is equal to 0 in final v minus 1 of n the value will be 0 0.5 and at n is equal to 1 so here it is 1 here it is 1 1 into 1 1 so this is what a plot for v minus 1 of n now sum up this so 0 0.5 plus 1 1.5 so that is what the value for rxy of minus 1 
clear now next when m is equal to 0 okay so when m is equal to 0 rx y of 0 will be equal to what summation of x of n into y of n okay where the limit of n ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity and this multiplication you are denoting it as v naught of n right and then sum up and you will get the value for this clear boss we already know the plot of x of n we already know the plot of y of n simply multiply it see the common instant so n is equal to 0 this is also defined this is also defined at 1 this is defined this is also defined at 2 this is defined this is also defined so multiply this so 1 into 1 1 so at n is equal to 0 you will get here 1 at n is equal to 1 so 1 into 0 0.5 you will get 0 0.5 resultant so at n, n is equal to 2 so 2 this will be this is what 2 and this is what 1 so 2 into 1 okay is there any mistake i did so n is equal to 2 so this is also 2 this is also what 1 so this will be 2 okay this will be 2 okay boss now do a sum up so 1 plus 0 0.5 plus 2 so it will be equal to what so 2 plus 1 3 3.5 you will get 3.5 clear this much is clear to you sorry my bad it will be 2 okay 2 into 1 2 fine and for the next instant if you will go here it will be 0 so 2 into 0 is 2 uh, sorry 0 right that is why I am not including that here so you will get 3.5 basically now next point is what m is equal to 1 so y of n plot you already know now let's see next okay so in step 4 is what repeat step 3 to get the subsequent samples of the output sequence until we get a non-zero product sequence okay that is fine let's see so when m is equal to 1 now when m is equal to 1 so rx y of 1 in this what is required x of n into y of n minus 1 this we are representing at as v1 of n right so you know the plot of x of n this is the plot for x of n and y of n minus 1 we already know boss the plot for y of n now do one unit right shift then you will get a plot of y of n minus 1 so this is a plot now multiply this see the common points so at 1 this is also defined 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 these are the common instants right so multiply it 1 into 1 so in the final v1 of n 1 right now 2 into 0 0.5 so 1 now 2 into 1 2 so and then sum up this so 1 plus 1 plus 2 so rx y of 1 will be what 4 4 clear okay boss now next instance so when m is equal to 2 so what is required x of n into y of n minus 2 we already know the plot for y of n minus 1 one more right shift is required to achieve y of n minus 2 so this is a plot right for y of n minus 2 and this is a plot for x of n so what are the common instant where both are giving some values or defined so n is equal to 2 and 3 n is equal to 2 and 3 right so here 2 into 1 so 2 2 into 0 0.5 is what 1 so the final plot which is nothing but v2 of n will be what this boss see this right am i right so at n is equal to 2 the value is 2 and at n is equal to 3 the value is 1 now sum up this summation is required right sum up this then you will get x r x y of 2 which is what 2 plus 1 that is 3 hope it is clear to you fine now the last point that is when m is equal to 3 so when m is equal to 3 so rx y of 3 is equal to what summation of r uh, summation of x of n into y of n minus 3 where the limit of n ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity so the product of this is required so first plot this and product of this will be equal to what v3 of n and then sum up at last so 
we already know the plot for y of n minus 2 simply right shift one more unit so you will get this plot and this is what x of n right see the common instant so it, this both are defined at one there is only one common instant that is n is equal to 3 so n is equal to 3 multiply this so 2 into 1 2 so in the final plot it will, it will be 2 single element sum up you will get what 2 so hope it is clear to you now now the final so finally we got what boss that cross correlation sequence rx y of m is equal to what 1 comma 1.5 comma 3.5 comma 4 comma 3 comma 2 am i right this is what we have calculated and this is that m is equal to 0 so in the exam better do a plot for this also this plot is ready your work is done that is what you have to do when a question will be asked to you that please perform a cross correlation using graphical method this is a proper approach so if you have any doubt in this you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching